Hello, good afternoon and welcome. It's a, a nice sunny down, day down here in West Sussex, making up for the miserable night we had last night. But very pleased to see people here and uh, I'll bring my one and only earworm in. Oh, no, I've just pressed the wrong button. Let's try again. There we are. And it's Keith, of course. So Good afternoon, you, everybody. Welcome to Andy's Live. Just Sorry, it. just muted it. That's it. We're done. Yeah, I'm just just killing my um, speakers. Right, take me out, and uh, I'll come <laughs> right, back yeah. in. I'm, I'm okay. in the background. <laughs> right, there we are. Okay, pleased to see you all. As you will have seen, we're going to be uh, trying to make a, a a matching pair of tea of the bud vases. That was the one that I made earlier. Is a, as, as my practice piece that's relatively difficult because in fact the design came from a book so i was a bit a bit tied down to a specific design which always makes life more interesting but more difficult up, 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 up. that's the that's i'll just stand up yeah, the one on with the one on this side is the one that we're doing and uh it's an interesting one because it is a Grecian, a Grecian urn, Grecian vase design taken over by the Romans because they took over nearly everything that the Greeks made. And it's also been used by designers in the 18th century, such as Adams and Chippendale. So it occurs in lots of furniture and architecture. There we are. That's the history lesson over. The book, actually, I think it's one that's been mentioned here before. Yes, I've pushed that one. That's right. I think that's when I bought it, actually. Classic <laughs> form, Stuart, Stuart E. Dias. Loads of ideas in there uh, if you want to do something classical. They're quite fiddly, but but I think they're very satisfying to do. So put that away over there. The beauty of working from that book, if I can jump in there, Andy, is of that course. it gives you ind an indication of scale and what it should look like rather than a scale coming out of your own head, which doesn't work. That's right. There's yes, many absolutely. different uh, variations in there. It is a, a good value book, and in fact, the, uh, the, the 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 that's the photocopy of the page, and you can see I've written sizes on there. It's almost that full size. That is almost the size of it. Um, I, I adjusted one or two bits, mainly because I'm putting a test tube down the middle. I haven't got enough hands here, but um, the the bud. Will, or the flower will go into a test tube so it can keep some water on it. That then decided the, the width of this top piece. Um, the first one, I didn't think take that into account and it broke. So we won't talk about that. That's in the past. <laughs> but uh, but these things happen. I mean, with the best will in the world, they happen. And, and you've got to cope with it when it happens. So fortunately, I had this is some timber I got from Keith, and I had enough of it to cut uh, cut another piece. So, um, so that's that's the, the the restriction on that one is that I had to thicken that the neck up a little bit, yeah. and I had to be a bit careful down at the bottom to make sure I didn't come through with the drill, um, which in fact I didn't on this. I did on the other one. So, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'll drink a water in a minute. So that's what we're going to be making. There's, there's lots of fiddly little bits, you know, this little little piece in here, that little step up there. Squint. Squint, thank you. I knew there was a word for it. I couldn't think of it. <laughs> and the, the fiddly bits down here, little cove in there. Um, all, all need to be right. If you get them wrong, it shows. Um, and there's a tiny, tiny little squint up the top there as well. Should have been bigger, actually, but I, we'll stick with that. That's fine. I'm quite happy with that. So I've put a piece of wood on the lathe. Let's swap to that one. I've turned it round, but it's not quite the right size yet. It's a little bit thick still. I've set the um, calipers to the size it needs to be. There's about another four or five mil to come off. Move that so side and trip. Sorry, go while on. You're, uh, while you're getting that into the round and getting yourself organised, um, just before I forget, Gav said he would like that book. If you remind me a bit later on, Gav, I will give you the ISBN number for it, which I happen to have, 
And, okay, I was going to uh, say I could look it up, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I've got it here. So um, I'll put that in the chat a bit later on. But in the meantime, I'll go over to the tubes and see what the list of participants gives me, which okay. isn't very start, many. Uh, yeah, isn't very many considering there's 22 of you watching. So I'll go down the list. Just jump in, mate, if you've got something to say. Okay. Yep. No, fine. I'm just uh, going to start turning down, marking the depth I need to go to. Right. Well, while you're doing that, um, apparently you're in here as well, watching yourself and talking to yourself. Um, oh, really? We've got Gav Sade, Gerard the French Turner, Robert from Hodgepodge. He's probably got Harry there, you know, poking his fingers in as well. John S. <laughs> Casting. Lawrence Bagasia, Peter Cochran, you should be at work, Peter, or is it lunchtime? Robbo from Australia, hello, mate. Robert Dolman and Andrew from YV Woodsheds. Now I'm going to have to go back and see who I've missed. We've missed Alison Heath, which is Andy's better half. She's off out fairly soon, but uh, she's here yeah. for half an hour. Yep. Yeah. Um, She's got her own name today. Yeah. Chris Dodds from Australia. So we've got two Aussies in, which is always good. Go, uh, yes. Welcome. Worldwide. Um, Colin, I'm not sure whether I've mentioned you just now. Colin from Wood Wizardry. Came in late. Yep. Yeah. Um, Ian Leonard. Struggling through it. Don't worry, guys. I'm still here. Um, You're right. Still counting. Been... Yeah, still counting. They've been chatting to themselves. <laughs> well, I've got to the bottom of... Oh, Barry's just dropped in. Barry's Wood Creations has just dropped in. And Duncan the Curly Turner. Well, Barry so... WC, as I tend to call him. Yeah, if I've missed anybody, I do apologise. Just uh, drop your name in again, like you've missed me. Uh, we can soon put that right. And if anyone's got any questions for Andy, um, can you prefix it with a couple of questions or the word question um, so that I can possibly see it? And if Gav's got something to write with, and he acknowledges that, um, I can read out the ISBN code for him and anyone else that's interested in getting this book. I think um, Amazon have it. I think they I got it from it. Amazon, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they either have it or had it. But oh, if you've got the ISBN code, it's uh, not too bad. Eric Winkler's just dropped in. Karen Dolman's just popped in. Forgot to cover the keyboard. Oh, again. <laughs> it's just oh, for change. Every time. I know. Every time. Right, good. Okay. <laughs> the one thing I did want to do with this was to, to have a, a template to work to. It's actually very difficult to draw a template of that. I tried various different ways, and in the end, I used one of these. Come on, Keith, what they called? <laughs> They're pro pro profile duplicators. Profile duplicators. There we are. Um, I, I happened to have them. I bought them years ago when I was doing some flooring for my son-in-law. And um, that's the wrong. Try it the right way up, mate. Yeah. That's that's better. So I, I used that, pushed it in there, gave me the C, the shape I needed. I then transferred that onto a piece of paper because it's all jaggedy lines on this and you can't get the detail and um, made a template, which I've lost. Apart from that, everything's fine. <coughs> Siddeley 61's in. I don't think we've shouted him out. No, nope, I don't think so. Well, this is silly. I'm going to have to work without it, probably. 
Is it underneath your towel? Oh, yes. Here it is. Collected wood shavings. Yeah. Sid's <laughs> repurposing is now in. Hello, Sid. Right, so, so yes, that, that's the template we're going to use. Um, the, the bottom, I'm going to have a, a, a spigot on there, which will go into the sea jaws of the chuck, which are in there at the moment. And um, and then we'll, we'll we'll get cracking with actually making it once I've put the, uh, the tenon on there. And that's the size of the tenon. Yep. Right, well, while you're cutting that on, if everyone's got a pen and pencil handy, pen and paper handy, the ISBN number for the classic form by Stuart E. Dias, that's D Y A S. The ISBN number is 978 And if you quote that to any library or um, book company, they will find that for you. Uh, I can't give you a price because my copy is a good few many years old. It was first published in 2008. So I think I bought it straight away. And it's been a, a source of reference ever since. It's it's quite it's it's quite interesting. There's quite a lot of history in there of, of mm. sort of where designs came from, and what have you, which I found very interesting. So if oh, you're doing so. cord pulls, finials, um, anything like that, um, cone finials, acorn finials, there's a fair page at the back, fair few pages at the back, just pr um, showing you those table legs, um, mill <laughs> post. Standard lamps. So there's all sorts just, in there, yep. Yeah, just about everything. Table lamps and the like. Goblets, plus what Andy's doing today. So a very good, I think it's a very good investment for a, a wood turner that's yeah. looking at doing serious things. Yep. Um, you'll, you'll notice I've got my step centre in the in the chuck. Um, it's, not, it's not a step centre to go into the chuck, but Axminster to make this this device to go on the in the chuck knock it off the, the step center and it's just simply a a morse taper sitting in something that's designed to fit the sea jaws very useful i only came across it not so long ago and i thought i've got to have one of those they make it a lot in one or two morse taper as well i think they do yeah it's yep. a lot cheaper than, than buying a whole new set of more of step centers just to just to go in there so just throw that one in as it's a new piece of equipment to me. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there will be other people in the same same position. Yes, Duncan's saying he's got this book. I think you bought it when I um, showed it last time, Duncan, didn't you? The book is twenty two ninety nine on Amazon, but only one left in stock, Ian is telling us. So oh, right. get on those keyboards, guys, if you want one. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to change to a smaller, smaller tool rest i think it's a bit cumbersome that one very nice for doing big bits but i can get and do i'm doing fiddly bits now so right for the technical out there the wood andy is using today is <laughs> merbau m-e-r-b-a-u or quila is uh, a local name for it and I'm sure Robbo will come on and give us the full lowdown on it because it comes from Papua New Guinea. Or well, that's where this lot come from, was Papua New Guinea. Uh, it turns and it finishes well, but it is quite aggressive on tools. It is. It's very aggressive on bandsaw blades. <laughs> As you discovered. As I discovered because I uh, cut up probably over half a ton in hindsight <laughs> but uh, it works nice and there's a nice bit of character and color to it right that's roughly marked out it's it's good it's a lot of fiddling around when you're trying to make something actually match 
and that is 144 that's four mil 144 let's see how we go here yeah robo saying it's got a lot of silica in it yeah you're right there mate <laughs> <laughs> 144 mil exactly that's a bit of luck got that right it's always nice to get something right now and again so you'll be reprofiling your tools on a fairly regular basis because it's no no point in trying to cut with them blunt and silica is one of the worst ones worst things for blunting them yeah it's it's one of the reasons that i actually turned it from round from square beforehand because i've resharpened my tool since because there was quite a bit to take off because it was a fairly hefty chunk of two, it was about four inch square wasn't it just shy of that i think yeah 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 so there's a fair bit to take off but i thought it was worth it because it does look rather nice when it's done oh, ben's put the code in for the axminster um morse taper carrier for c jaws well done oh, ben. Right. thank you ben useful little tool uh, well, it, it's useful for anything that's morse taper even um three jaw jacob's chuck if you want to put it in there oh i've used Wouldn't that a number of times yeah i do make sure i, I push it in very firmly yes yeah, so, so i would suggest that. you have anything too long in there or going too fast no, without just for, um, support from the tail stock just for a bit of sanding or something it's it's uh it's ideal it's ideal yeah yeah right so now we need Barry to Jetty's just woken up hi oh, mate afternoon. how are you morning. doing morning barry <laughs> <laughs> right we'll just set the calipers so at to the that. moment you've got 33 watching you oh that's not bad that's not bad at yes. all right so that's going to be the diameter of the top so we'll cut to that and then we'll shape it uh where was that that was yes that was the widest bit I wasn't going to tell him that, Robbo, but yes, you're you're right. Because they all disappear. Robbo's just said, don't put too many lines on at this stage. Only mark the major diameters. I, I've just done it just for my own. I can identify which which is which now. But um, but yeah, I, I agree. You don't need to. Well, what am I doing next? That's that's just got a chamfer on the top. Then it goes oh. down to. Barry's excuse is he's just got back from the Cairo. So, uh, all right. You know, yeah, do yeah. we believe him or not? Well, we can. <laughs> right, that's the neck, which is pretty small, and that's just there. Then steps up by one millimetre. Terry Hooper's just dropped in for a while as he's oh, got hello, his Terry. Mate. Hello, mate. Well, that comes out on the angle of the next loot in. Yeah, got it. Thirty-six in. Um, I've already discussed with Andy. I'm going to drop in a link to my live on Thursday night. 
which is there. So, um, although he's not in yet, we've got Woodworm Paul's just dropped in. Um, Douglas Mungham sent me some elm about a month ago, which is lived in a plastic sack. Um, I should be having a go at making something out of that. Yeah, nice. I like elm. Yeah. Lovely. So, um, Usually got a very nice figure in it. That's right. So the next link I'm going to drop in, and Andy knows all about this, so it's not a problem, is that's that one. And that's that one. This is where both Andy and I demonstrate work well work in the loosest term uh, <laughs> it's um the amberley museum it's an industrial museum there's a link for that we're opening up on the 19th of this month and that's tuesday to sundays we're open so we're not open monday or tuesday wednesday wednesday um, to sunday uh, wednesday to sunday i mean uh, we're not open on um we're open on bank holiday mondays only so if anyone's coming this way, let us know in advance and we'll tell you whether we're down there or we can meet <coughs> you down there. I should be down there on Thursday. Yep. That that week. And most weeks in fact. But I'm not in I'm not in the wood turning bit, just to be difficult. Yeah, and I should be down there in the workshop on the Sunday. I've already got that booked. So that's about right. I just hope that doesn't make a hole when I drill. I think I should drill it now. No, I'm going to shape that first. Well, it's still got some strength there. Right, okay. That's, that's, let's get in there. It's, uh, if you, if you compare the two, that's, that's not a bad match. Tell me it's sanded and what have you, obviously. It's, it's not a million right. miles away. Ian, the, Amberley Museum is just north of Arundel Castle, down in West Sussex. We're on the main London Portsmouth rail line as well. The local station is right out the front of where we are. So if you come by train, it's just a... Couldn't be much closer, really. 150, 200 metre walk. Polish the digger up then. Yeah, it's been used quite a bit, Barry. Um, the railway have been using it. I might need to dust off the seat. You know what they're like. They're not too fussy because we've also got our own, one of the bigger privately owned miniature rails or narrow gauge railways in the country with quite a lot of stock in there as well. Oh, it's a six hour drive, he said. It's even further from Australia, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Gerard's saying it's a nice branch I've got. He saw the picture on Facebook. Oh, right, yep. Did I put it on Facebook or did... Uh, oh, I can't remember. If it's past yesterday, I can't remember. <laughs> right, uh, now then, that bit uh, Mr. is... So Mr. Shepherd in. Hello, Martin. Hi, oh, Martin. Right, so we'll make that a bit bigger because that's not going to go in there nicely. And that is... Da, 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 yeah, that's that shaping. So that one wants to go in just there. Lawrence, we've got two steam locos down there. One is in bits at the moment being put back together. We've had to have a new 
boiler for it and the other one is usually used um, on the weekend particularly Sundays if there's if it's an event weekend so we keep two going anyway most of the time but they are expensive to run and as we're a, literally a charity self-funding charity we get no um, handouts from the government or local government or anyone like that um, we have to count the pennies having been closed since the beginning of January and we spent a fair time last year closed finances have got very low so a miracle was still there really it is a bit yeah but uh, the trustees we've got in there now and the staff we've got in there now have worked their, their wonders. So we are still viable. We just definitely don't need a uh, another lockdown. No. Okay. Next. The sticky out bit. Does that want a little bit more work on there for the yes. shape? Yeah. Y yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not there yet. Okay. No. I just want to get rid of some of this down the down the bottom end. Just give me some space, really. Uh, Terry, um, you can do. The issue I know someone's had is that the, the, the dust is so fine that it sticks in the uh, fabric. So um, what I do is wait till it's not too windy out there, but just a bit of breeze and uh, take it out and beat crap out of it uh, with a big stick and uh, get rid of the dust that way. Richard from RJK has just dropped in. Hello, mate. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> yeah, I've got 38 staring at you. Lovely. Considering it's a lunchtime on a working day, I don't think that's too bad. No, you, n you never know these days, do you? No, no. So for the new members, the new participants that have just dropped in, Hopefully you'll uh, like and subscribe to Andy's channel and uh, hit the notification bell, which then gives YouTube the indication that this is the sort of content you like watching and they will notify you then, not normally at the beginning, but during the show, that uh, the show is live. They're getting a little bit lax at the moment. I know one or two people have had... Uh, the notification just as the uh, broadcast is finishing so yes yeah not always good <laughs> well, let's have a look a little bit to come off there should be okay in the washing okay. machine Benjamin it, it wouldn't clog that much I mean, you get most of it out to start with. Um, there's quite a bit of water goes through on the several rinses. And it's only dust. It's not as if it's shavings. What's he trying to wash? His um, dust bag on oh, top right. of his um, dust collector. Give it a sound thrashing. Yeah, well, that's what I usually do. Beat crap out of it. Yep. Eric, you can use any close grained wood. You can use any wood. It's just that um, Andy's got this because uh, I inherited quite a lump the other month, which has been cut up and uh, shared around to many. Uh, it needs to be a fairly close grained, uh, although it would work in something like ash. 
Yeah. yeah. Ash and oak. So it's not, you don't need to use Maribel just because Andy's got some and showing off with it. Um, use something that is local to you in, uh, in the States. I think there's quite a few of the big leaf maples that would work just as well. Um, you can always darken it down if you wanted a darker colour. Depends how particularly you are about the detail on it. Yeah. If you want these, these very small pieces to, to, to be sharp, then it needs to be fairly close grain. But. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the maples would take it. Let's get in there, except I think that's gone too long for some reason. I can't do much about that. Only a little bit. Well, they're never going to be right by no, no. each other, are they? Don't actually want, no, but you don't actually want them exactly the same because it's, what's the point of having a handmade if it's all exactly the same? I know. Might as well, might as well use a copy lathe. Hmm. Shapes getting better. Yeah, that's better. A little bit off there. Doug Miller's just dropped in. He's from over the pond. So he's just getting up or got up. Seems to bounce a little bit, this. Pete Cochran says he can't see the difference in the two between his house, from his, uh, from his house. <laughs> all right, that's all right then. <laughs> it's actually, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm happy with that. Um, no, then what we've got a better view of it than what you have, Andy, because we're looking directly down on it. Yes, true, true. Yep. Yeah, Chris is right opposite ends of the mantle. If you've got four foot wide eyes, you would notice a difference, but not many people would. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. Going, it's going to be more critical on um, stair components when they're four or five <laughs> inches apart. Oh, you can't have them just, too far out. That's the middle of this bit. Right. Okay. Going to be that size. That's the size there. We're nearly, nearly middle of that. Let's go in there. Oh, Peter's got to go back to work now. Cheers, mate, for stopping in. Hopefully, can't chat with you Thursday night. <coughs> the right button on the way out. Hopefully. Right, okay, so that's there. It's got to clump down there. It comes down up to there. Yep. So I think we'll do that one next. It's all a bit of a fiddle, this, but you have to do it. Got to get it somewhere near, right? Yeah, once you've got the basic, it's not quite so bad, is it? No, no, no. Right, so that is going to be that bit. Uh, Terry Hooper's off. He's got customers. He's got visitors. So thanks for stopping by, Terry. I'll have a chat on Thursday night with you as well. Peter, I'm on at um, 7.30 on Thursday. Mark, the gentleman's in. Hi, Mark. Hello, Mark. Uh, that's got to go down to there, actually. What's that? Oh, throw it in there. Use the little one. <laughs> I 
long as it doesn't vibrate too much, you're hanging over the tool rest quite a long way, aren't you? Yes, it's they're, they're very sharp. They're cutting quite nicely at the moment, so and I'm taking very small amounts off, which all adds up to not being too bad. Good. If we welcome Steve Scott, don't don't think so. Not sure. If we if we haven't, Steve, do apologise, mate. Chat goes fairly quick at times. And no, it's not being hollowed, it's being drilled out, which I think will be one of Andy's next uh, jobs yeah, I must to do, do before he goes I to, too much thinner. I meant to do it before I did this, but um, yeah, we'll drill it now. It's going Thank to you take a, um, a, a plastic test tube for um, holding water for flowers. Right, yes, like, sorry. Ugh. Like that. Uh, like that, that, yeah. Yep, there we are. Right, and I found when I used it, I always, I've always used an auger bit for doing um, bud vases, but I found it wandered dreadfully. So I, mm. I filed the point off the end, and it still wanders dreadfully. So I'm going in as far as I can with the forcing a bit, mm -hmm. and then just finishing off the depth because yeah. it's got something, something to guide it then. Right, Marty's at, Martin at Woody's Creations just stopped by. Hello, Martin. Hello, Martin. Welcome. Right, so... Oh, I'm pushing that right out of the way. Copper owl wood turnings in. Hello, copper. I Must be known there somewhere. Yeah, I, I think it's Dave, but I'm not sure. But, um, Maybe we'll find still, out. Yeah, you're still welcome, copper owl. <laughs> I get killed most things and answer to most, so don't worry about it. Right, so here we go then. Turn the speed down a bit. Sixteen mil hole. <coughs> yes, don't let the shavings build up too much on this because it oh. uh, it could twist off the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I could feel it tightly. And these forcing the bits. Sometimes do clog up. Actually, that's not too bad. <coughs> I'm going to have to have a crack at sharpening that sometime soon. Yeah, you still can, Martin, get them. I think Axe means to make them extensions for the um, force and bits. Yeah, the, the one, one I've got. Sorry, come. And say so what you've got to be careful of is that not all Forstner bits have got the same size shank. I was just going to say that's the problem I've got. I've got yeah. the bigger the bigger ones have the right size shank for the extension piece, which I've got here, and uh, it didn't work with this one because this was too small. So then I tried modifying it using a a piece of brass from a fountain pen kit, brass tube.
there, and that didn't work. Right. It wobbled. It wobbled around. I've got it. Got to get around to taking that out of there. Yeah, but um, but yeah, that was that was my solution to it. But it, it wasn't successful. No. So then I had to go back to the auger bit. But now you're a couple of inches in. It shouldn't wander yeah. too far. No, no, it did it all right on 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 the other one. Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's nice and warm. And that tape happens to be in the right place. Squeals nicely. Mm. You could put some candle wax on it. Stop could that. Do. I've got one here somewhere. God knows where, though. It's all right when you're cutting. No. Oh. The bit I left at the end, the nub, was just slightly bigger than 16 mil I <laughs> discovered. So I just mm -hmm. removed that, that flange because otherwise I haven't got the right depth. And I like to try and get it somewhere pretty exact. If you can see on the end there, it's just got a couple no, of mil. Too, too far to the tail stock, so we can't see that bit. But, uh, try that one. Can you see just it? About just, see it? Yep, just about see it. Yeah, yeah. No better with that, is it? <laughs> no. But anyway, it's, it's only a little tiny bit. Um, it's not a, not a problem. I like to slightly dish this as well while I'm doing this, ever so slightly. In theory, then, if anybody's pouring water into the test tube, it'll go into the test tube rather than running down the outside. That's the theory, anyway. Yeah, Martin's saying he's got a uh, set of force and a bit and extensions from Record Power, very good edges. Yeah, they are when they're brand new, but... Um, mm, they do wear is, fairly, yeah. fairly quickly, yeah. yeah. This has got a lot of silicon in this, or silica in this wood, and it soon blunts even the it's most the does. sharpest Cutting. of tools. Cutting nicely though, that should do it. But I did discover that uh, the, the test tubes are not that well made. And the one that I put into the other one was very slightly wider at the top end. I couldn't work out why it wouldn't go, uh, go in. So let's see whether this one's similar. Eric Winkler is saying he's new here and don't know who the earworm is. Eric, it's um, it's Keith I, I don't from Circular know, Wood <laughs> by uh, Circular Wood by Keith. I do a live on a Thursday evening or odd Tuesdays. Andy, myself, and Scott Grant. We work on um, two, three of us work on two different days, so we cover each other. So that you will, you will catch me on Thursday evening. Eric, if you care to, on my own channel, which is, like I say, Circular Wood by Key. And what I can do, if I go back over to the tubes. Clean that up a little bit. I can drop Shouldn't in I? the oh. link for copy. Right, this that's absolutely fine. The second link is for the live on Tuesday. The first link, for some unknown reason, didn't want to disappear off uh, YouTube. It was just sat at, sat there. All oh, right. But the the first one, as it comes down the screen, is where Andy and I both demonstrator at Ambley Museum. I apologise for it not uh, disappearing. And the second one is me for my live on Thursday evening. Yes, I can see I should have taken too much off there a little bit. 
Done a little bit round on the top, yeah. A little bit, little bit rounded, but uh, it should have been more of a shoulder. Yeah. Hold it further so, away, no one to know. No, that's right. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can't look perfect over there. And then that's just a bleed, and that's so I can cut down to that. Next. It's, uh, it's all going awfully well. well the first one is the easy one. This, this one was, yeah, the one in my left hand mm. was 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 the nice one because you just, well, you made it whatever shape you wanted. In fact, as, as Keith knows, I made it the wrong shape. I was able to redo it because you can. <laughs> right, so we'll cut that down to there. the pedestal there are very distinct parts of a of a vase i discovered the neck the bowl pedestal and something else but yeah it's all in the book mm. uh, there was one left whether there is now yeah that's all right it's just a it's just a cove on there that's lovely all right so i'll take that down Then Speak we'll... for yourself, Chris. You might be special. <laughs> How are we doing for height? Oh, that's pretty good. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Good. So that just wants a bit more curve on it. You've got 40 watching you. And you're one hour, uh, you're 47 minutes in. Well, that's not bad. I'm quite pleased with that. Time, yeah. I'm pleased with that. Did it have a... Yes, it did. Oh. Didn't mean to didn't do have that. One of those. No. No, I don't need one of those. So I need some of these little little ones. Okay, we'll just reduce that a fraction. Nobody will ever notice. And that really is the shape, isn't it? Yeah. So a bit of sanding. I will do some sanding today. I usually try and avoid it, but what am I looking for? That one. Chris has just made the comment, you might need a longer mantle, Andy. A longer mantle. Yeah, if you're going to put uh, put them on it, you're going to need to keep them apart. <laughs> oh right, yeah, so mantle. Yeah, right. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, mantle, mantle shelf. It's a mantle. It's a mantle. mantle it's a cloak, shelf. A cloak, isn't it? Yeah, mantle piece. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yes, I think you're right. Yep. Yeah. But uh, it was always on the cards. They were going to be slightly different. Mm. To be perfectly honest, and and why shouldn't they be? They're handmade. As long as they're sort of in the same ballpark. Oh, I didn't give myself any. Stupid boy. That's one thing I forgot to do was to get some nice new glass paper up. Can't wait for the club a, to open. Yeah, I've just seen a question from Chris. Would you recommend reshaping the original one to match? 
it can actually be done. I I had this one in the on the lathe to reshape the, this this bit. So yes, it can be because I can grip that in the chuck and and put a, a center as I've done here, a center in 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 this end. So yes, I can actually modify that to match that. I don't want really to keep doing that. If you I don't tell anyone, Andy, you can uh, you can do that and then put them up as a matching pair. That's right, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but I don't want them to get smaller and smaller until they disappear, you know. Yeah. Well, let's put the dust extraction on. Now I've got some. Well, that's better. It's not a bad shape, just a little bit, a little bit too much off there. Mm. Yeah. But um, could be a great deal worse. As a one off, it's all right. Put yeah. them together, you'd notice yeah. it. Yeah. I'll just sell them separately. Of course, there's a very big difference between what wood turners see and what the public see. Mm. The public don't notice things that we think are absolutely offensive. What have you been on, Ben? You've been on the magic medicine again. Andy, you could put a giant magnet, oppose, giant opposing magnets on each one so they can't be brought too close together. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. I like technical solutions. <laughs> no, I think I, th I should stand them up next to each other when I've finished. Mm. But I don't think they'll be too bad. They won't be perfect, but... Uh, Then we're not professionals, are we? We're just uh, hobbyists. Absolutely, we're hobbyists. Hobbyists. Yeah, hobby. hobby turner. I'm proud of it. Mm. That'll do for that one. What's that? The forty grip? No, that was one twenty. <laughs> cheeky bug, cheeky bugger. <laughs> uh. Then two forty. Next, I'm gonna miss one out i think i can afford to on this it's close enough grained it actually finishes quite nicely mm -hmm. but i can always do a little bit more afters i just want to get it looking something reasonable today so i can stand them next to each other and not be too ashamed of it don't worry about time because you're under the hour still yeah yeah no we're fine for time and the hour is only just a, a number I really thought it was going to take me longer than that. So I'm quite pleased with that. Which is why I, I, I trued it up, made it round mm. before before it came on air. Yeah, fact, because I'm it's probably... the uh, edge coming off of the tools is the worst bit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I probably could have done it all, but I'd have been wading in but knee-high in, in shavings. Yeah, I think Chris Dodds, because... Uh, Hit the nail on the head. He's saying they will be perfect, just not quite the same. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, hmm. I like that, Chris. Yep, yeah, thank you very much. I'll, I might use that. And it will be a Yorkshire grit job. Yes, being so close, Barry, it uh, it does come off the uh, tools pretty well. Yes, yes, it does. And the, the silica 
within the wood helps as well because it acts as a bit of a lubricant although it's aggressive to the tools well that's 400 i'm not going to go any further with that i'm going to i'm gonna get some oh, yorkshire grit on it you're gonna put some sanding sealer on it first uh, yes i am yes you're absolutely right I'm just working out which one I want to use. I'm going to use my one from the jar because I'm old fashioned. Mm. I don't mind using a brush. This will make the grain pop. It, it, it really makes it look something, doesn't it? Mm. Yep. Yeah. I think I'll take that out of there before I crack my elbows on it. I don't think we will feel it if you hit your elbow, no, so you're okay. I, I do like having a nice long lathe bed though. Mm. It does it avoids avoids an awful lot of that. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is shellac? No, this is um uh, um um cellulose. Cellulose, thank you. <laughs> right. Go. Cellulose sanding in it thinned about fifty fifty. Mm -hmm. I'm not too particular about it. I I don't measure it or anything i just do it by eye and it always seems to work so it dries nice and quickly it gives a good finish doesn't raise the grain too much in fact i very rarely do anything about sanding it down after i put the sanding ceiling on especially if you're going to use yorkshire grit because that does it all for you yeah quickly wipe it back before you go too gloopy otherwise yeah. you get uh, you get lines in it yeah, that's why I go over it again and just wet it up a bit. Put that away. Find a bit of cloth, which is just here. So Richard is saying, Richard RJK is saying he was inspired to make a letter opener after watching Mark last Monday, but turned it the same way as what you did last Tuesday. As he well did done, that man. <laughs> a large sanding disc. No, that's right. And I think it's more honest. I, that's just my opinion, but I well, think it's, it's more honest to actually turning, isn't it? it's wood yeah. turning to actually turn it instead of just sanding it. But that's 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 only my opinion. I mean, mm. everyone is entitled to their own opinion, and I'm not not criticising in any way. I have actually made one that way using the sanding before. There's a question on here from Mark. If you've seen it, Mark, did you manage to sort out your cameras and sound gear from last night? Yeah, I did feel a bit sorry for you, mate. Yes. On that. Not yes, nice. that was very, very unfortunate. Is Mark still with us? I'm not sure. He hasn't commented on it yet. Right. Barry, no, I did feel sorry. Yeah, go on. I did feel sorry for him. It, it, it was desperately unfortunate. Yeah. But he did say he was trialling new, a new um, streaming system. Ah, right. Okay. So that makes more sense on. then, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, Barry Chitty saying to me, he will uh, take a picture of a piece he's turned and put it on Facebook later on. So head over to Barry Chitty's page on Facebook. I will do that, Barry. We'll all have a laugh at that. I mean, uh, we'll, all, <laughs> we'll all say admire, we like admire, it. <laughs> admire it. Lots of oohs and ahs, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mark's not sorted it out. He's just said not yet. Oh, dear. Oh, that was horrible. Hopefully it's not too much of a major issue, Mark. But you get sort of geared up for things, don't you? You're all yeah. set to do a, a demo and you prepared yourself for it and got it all ready. And then, bang, just because of a bit of technology, mm. it doesn't work. Quite horrendous. And I'm not, I'm not a great one with technology, as you may have noticed. But I was so chuffed that I got my stream deck working. Very proud of myself, I was. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> oh, Barry's agreeing with me that we can all have a laugh over it. So that's fine. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just in case anyone thinks I'm being a bit mean on Barry, he is a fellow club member. Yeah. So we do know him quite well. 
Yeah, and he'd say it to your face, wouldn't he? So, or you'd would, say it to yeah. his face, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't, because he's, he's a lot bigger than me. <laughs> six, six foot something of him. <laughs> that speaks a big coward, yeah. I like yeah. it. <laughs> I'll, I'll hide. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Wouldn't Mark's it be nice? saying that upwards of 15 hours prep went into last night and you can see why he was annoyed yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but the, you've got the prep work for next time though mark you can always yes, reschedule it yeah, yeah but people don't realize how much time you actually spend getting ready for these things and it's and it's and it's not because you don't want to because i enjoy doing it but mm. it's, it's it's very dis doubly disappointing if it doesn't work isn't it yes through no fault of your own Right, there's nothing coming off there now, so. Well, I don't need to get much organised for Thursday because I'm. Making it up as oh, you go along. Got a, well, almost, <laughs> yeah. I've got a, a wet Sorry. branch that was uh, donated by a uh, Douglas Mungham. All right, yep. Which is what I should be turning on Thursday night. And there is the link to that. Radar's just popped in. How about that? Sorry, radar. I should have shown what I'm, what I'm using, shouldn't I? Can you see that? Yeah, yeah it's grit. upside down, but we can, we've got the that Australian way. model. Yeah, that's it. Microphone adhesive paste. Yorkshire You're using grit. both, are you? The microphone and the yeah. standard. Yeah, it just, yeah. It just puts a finer finish on. Mm, yeah, it's uh, you know it seems to be quite successful. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'll stick with it. Well, it's nice on these woods. Yes. Oh yes, it's got to, you pick your pick your, your cases. Mm. And I should also put it on the on the Buffy wheel. Yeah. Just with the Carnuba. I just do the white one and the carnauba. I don't do the brown one most times, mm -hmm. unless it unless it's particularly rough. But uh, this is a nice finish anyway. So I don't use the brown one on light coloured timbers either because it tends to stain it. Yeah, I think Terry says that as well, doesn't he? Be careful on uh, very very light timbers. Yeah, yeah. But I find I don't need it too much. You know, there's this, there's a nice finish on that. Um, why why make work for yourself? You've got a shine coming off of it now, anyway. Yeah, yeah, it is. Picking, and, picking and, up your lights. Yeah, and by the time that's been buffed, it'll be even better. Aurora. Well, that's that's it. I shall part it off, and we can have a look at it. Exciting. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a one hour five minute. Uh, live demonstration then basically not, not bad at all no quite happy with that right then uh, we'll do it with a little one because i can hold that easily bit of speed <coughs> oh excuse me sorry deafening everybody oh that's getting hot Oh, that was nearly burning my fingers. Well, oh. you, got the, you got the speed whack dried up, haven't you? I did one. It, it cuts nicer. <laughs> That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Right, so uh, pop that out of there. My brain's nearly in gear. Mm, I was just waiting to see whether you're going to put the carrier in. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. this is the one I don't like doing without it because there's not much to grip on in there. No, it tends to wobble a bit and it comes loose very easily. So, uh, so I don't do that anymore. I'm so pleased to have that adapter. But you might want to drop the speed before you uh, fire it up. Yeah, I have done. It's it's, it's right. right. It's right down at the moment. Mm. You sort of have it as soon as I start looking at sanding. 
I wish I could get one of those things that Theo uses to clean his Morse tapers. You know, the green, waxy, plasticky looking thing that he uses. He just shoves them in there. It cleans it perfectly. Right. But you can't get them in this country, I don't think. I tried. Okay. I can't even remember what they're called now, but they're probably mortise taper cleaners. <laughs> would be, mm. be logical. Yeah. Martin, the Yorkshire Grit Extra Fine and the Yorkshire Grit aren't finishes. Microcrystalline is a finish, is a wax. So that's the difference between them. Yorkshire Grit Original works from or works up and takes it down to about a thousand equivalent grit and you're wet sanding it. The microfine or the extra fine, whichever they call it, takes it from a thousand to about two thousand. And then you wax it and microcrystalline it or whatever however you want to finish it. Simply because I can. I ain't got to go put the camera on. <laughs> there it was hardly worth it but hey since it was there i'm going to use it shame you didn't turn the extractor on it was on all, all right, right. Not, well this yeah that, i've got my a different extractor on the on the sander yeah. but i haven't got one on for this you're quite right <laughs> there you go <laughs> all sorted See the white no, that's below in round. <laughs> yeah. But that one over there, it automatically comes on when I turn the sander on. Okay. That's what I need over here, really. Mm. But it's how well, the according... you... Sorry, go on. Go on. And so according that's... to the chat, the green thingy with the Morse taper um, cleaner isn't made any longer. Oh, really? Or shorter. So Robbo's saying a shotgun cleaning brush works well for tapers. I'd heard that, yeah. I should have to investigate that sometime. Yeah, I've got a, uh, a reamer the right size. All right. So what I tend to do is I put it, put it in and turn it backwards rather than use it in cutting mode. Yeah, so I yeah. don't get any, don't take any metal off. I just Gerard's got my... to escape. Thanks for stopping by, Gerard. Thanks for coming in, Gerard. Sit. Oh no. Or Hodges putting in check Packard wool wood tools. Packard. Yeah, it's a, oh, obviously yeah. an American one. Um, and he knows yeah. craft supplies don't sell them anymore. Yeah. I know I've tried a couple of times because I've seen them on this on his, his um, demos. Right. And I've tried a couple of times to try and find them because they look such a good idea. Hmm. But um, nobody seems to know anything about them, which is a shame. It's obviously an Australian thing originally. I'll give, you, give it a real treat. Give it a six hundred. Cool. No expense spared. Because I've because I've got one sitting here next to me. <laughs> the Simon Hope set. Mm. That's that's got a slight mark in the middle, but uh, that will do for now. I could give that a bit more attention another time if necessary. But I will stick a bit of sanding sealant on there because it'll look prettier. Eric Winkler's got to go. Says it looks great, Andy. Thank you, Eric. 
and we're headed up towards the final furlong. And Martin from Woody's Creation is saying, Arch Drolix do a Morse taper cleaner. Oh, really? I'll have to make a note of these because I should forget. It'll still be in the chat when you run back through yes, it later yes. on. Yep, true. Yeah. Which I always do, yeah. Right, that'll do. I'm not going to worry about doing anything more to that at the moment because I think there's still got a slight mark in the middle I should want to get rid of. But let's turn that dust extractor off. Oh, it's, he's corrected it. AC Hydraulics. Oh, right. Okay. Slightly yeah, different. It's, it's a UK site. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, I'll give I'll give that a try then. Yeah, because I really would like I like the look of those. They seem very clean mm -hmm. and reusable many times. <laughs> right. I shall sit down and hold these up side by side. Let me put it onto a piece of something so you can actually compare them. Okay, now then we'll go for that one. Oh no, it's frightening. There they you are. Just see the difference. If you if you're really looking for it, yeah, yes, if you're really looking. Yeah, you can see that that shoulder. Sorry, that yes, that shoulder is missing. That shoulder is more definite. Mm. But um, but I'm, and the, the base is slightly heavier on that one. That one. <laughs> yeah. Which I could actually modify. That wouldn't be too difficult. But they're it's not bad. If you pull them to either side of the board so they're a foot apart, you see? That's right. It's far far less easy to, to, to spot. And if yeah, I move not, back... Not so bad. I yeah. move back Can about 12 on? feet. Yeah. <laughs> Stand outside. Stand outside, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm quite pleased with that. Good. None of it's none of it's beyond repair, to be honest. I could, I could do a little further work on them and make them match a little bit more. Considering I did that in just over the hour, I don't think that's yes. too bad at all. No. So to be realistic. To make would, it and chat about it at the same time is never yeah, yeah. as easy as uh, making it and uh, no, doing nothing. I would, I would normally have spent a little bit longer on, on doing or getting the details right, but uh, mm. but uh, but hey, that's mm. that's fine. Chris Dodds like, is feeling uh, feeling brave today. A rose yeah. between two urns. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> You're a gentleman, sir. <laughs> and the Linnykins has just come in to see you. I just made All herself right. known. Uh, well, she's, yeah, she's subscribed to my channel too. Yeah. Last so week. hopefully everyone else is subscribed to Andy's channel. And if you hit the like bell, that reminds you that Andy's going live. And uh, it also gives YouTube the opportunity to suggest videos that you might like watching as well. It all works on their wonderful algorithm. Cool. So some very nice comments in there. I just changed it over to YouTube. The, 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 the chat has gone mad <laughs> catching yeah. up. Yeah. Thank you, Martin. Very nice. Yeah, I'm jumping Nicky between Barry. both. Yep, yeah. I just thought I'd see what was going on on YouTube. Mm. And it, it's it's interesting watching yourself speaking at a completely different time from where you are. It's frightening. But, uh, that's better. I'm back on StreamYard again now. <laughs> mm. yeah, no, very nice comments. Thank you very much, all of you. And thanks for coming along. And how many did we end up with at the end? Uh, we got 34 now. I think it went up to 37, 38. I'm not, not absolutely that's, sure. That's not bad. It seems to be par for the course, doesn't it? For, for yeah. lunchtime, um, yeah. Well, for, for, for my life anyway. So no, that's I'm I'm pleased with that. That's that's great. And I'm on two hundred and something subscriptions now. So uh, which is nice. Uh, uh -huh. Showing two hundred and sixteen, but I haven't refreshed it recently because I it's should lose it as soon. As yeah, two hundred and sixteen. Yep, it is. Yep. Is it right? Yep. Yep. So it went over two hundred last week, I think. Hmm. I so you've got nice comments all around there. So yes, it's lovely. Thank you, thank you, Barry. Chris, see you all on the next one. Indeed, lovely. 
Martin Shepherd had to go. Right. Looks amazing. Thanks for sharing. I think there needs to be a third one. Don't be silly, Ben. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to do a third one. Hello, I've frozen. Oh, that's it. No, we're moving again now. So you, you're moving in the picture I'm looking at. Yeah, it was it was on YouTube for some reason. It froze. Mm. It's moving again now. So I probably just clicked on it by mistake and paused it. So anyway. Lovely. Thank you very much, all of you. And thank you, Keith. I'll bring you My in to say, your, say your goodbyes. There we are. Mm. So, we'll have somebody good looking on the show. For, yeah, it's not me then. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all for joining Andy and myself. Yep, absolutely. Without yeah. you guys, it would be slight bore, slightly boring. Yeah, yeah, a bit pointless, really. Yes. Yeah, I, I love doing it. I really love doing it. And it's the reaction from people that I like. You know, the, yes, the, the, question, both. the questions, the comments at the end, um, any questions that come up all the way through. I, I think it's fantastic because we're all sharing an experience together. If anyone's got any comments, they can leave them uh, on the video when it comes live on YouTube, probably tomorrow. I think it takes them about 24 hours to get it up there. So any any video, any messages you want to leave or go direct to uh, Andy and yes, speak indeed. to him. Yeah. So yeah. there's many ways of doing it. I'm uh, trying, to get into the subbed. trying to get into the habit of looking at YouTube, uh, Facebook, I mean. Which is not something I tend to do. Who's on but lunchtime I... tomorrow? It's Wednesday, so that'd be Wayne, won't it be? Yeah, yes, Wednesday lunchtime, yep. I think it's when yes, it's Friday and Monday evenings, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Wednesday lunch will be Wayne. And I don't know other than that. And then Thursday is you. Thursday evening is me. Um Thursday lunchtime I think is Brian doing the live. Um I haven't Next. seen any confirmation from Brian yet that he is, but he usually does Thursday lunch times. Then next Tuesday is well, Wayne is tomorrow it's... evening. Oh, it's tomorrow evening, is it? I got it the wrong way around. Yeah. 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 Yes, I haven't got it to hand. Thank you, Richard. Yeah, so, and yes. Mark and, and, and Mark. Yeah. 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 So tomorrow evening for for. for Wayne for Wayne, yeah, yeah, good. And Mark and saying, Mark might, saying, yeah, might do a pop up tomorrow lunchtime. Oh, it's Nick and Nick, yeah, tomorrow lunchtime, Mr. Sandin. I don't even know what day of the week. Oh, it's Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Tuesday today. Yep, <laughs> I get confused because I'm down at uh, Amberley at wet on Wednesdays at the moment. So I haven't watched right. Wednesdays for a little while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wednesday lunch. Nick is Nick the Flaming Turner. Yeah, that's Andrew, with you, with you woodshed. Andrew says radar's off. Have to get back to work. See you all later. Thanks, radar, for stopping by. Yep. This. Thank you very much, all of you. And I will uh, press the button. But it's sorry. It's good to see you all. Bye. Be good. Look after yourselves. Bye, guys.